11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Welcome back to 100 Days. So it was day 39 and I'm not gonna lie, my tailbone hurt. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh f What hurts? That hurts my f***ing tailbone. But it was time for another workout session with Laura, so I cowboyed up. We started with a warm up, front curls, jump rope, high knees, and jumping jacks. Double, awesome. look at that. That's amazing. Oh my God, you're just bragging. What starts with an S and is about to fall off? My shorts. And then Laura explained what we'd be doing that day. Basically, it was all about demonstrating how you can work the same muscles in unique ways with different exercises. So rather than giving us a specific number of reps for most of these, Laura just had us go until we felt like we couldn't go anymore. We started with triceps, then moved on to biceps. Mente! and then back to triceps, and then some more biceps, at which point I could not go on anymore with triceps and biceps. Wow. Jesus. Burns. It just hurts, it just burns. <sighs> it's not hard like roller derby, it just hurts. So we moved on to our shoulders until they were also destroyed. And then we moved on to some moves for our backs, even though Chris probably didn't need it, he's fucking majestic. Jesus Christ, Chris. You have an incredibly strong back. This workout wasn't as fun as boxing on Monday or most Laura workouts. Weight training is not super enjoyable for me. Oh, I don't like lifting weights. Also, it made me incredibly sore, but I think I went into the workout in a bad mood and that's probably part of the problem. I, I just don't think I'm gonna be a weightlifter when I grow up, which is unfortunate because I do still kind of harbor dreams of being Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I just have to remind myself that being The Rock isn't all about having a rock hard body, it's also about loving pancakes and having an awesome dog and being a humanitarian and an underappreciated actor. I have a cute dog at least, but who are we kidding? It's not as cute as The Rock's dog. As far as food goes, I had some toast, a banana, a sandwich, and yes, some alcohol. I forgot to take a picture of my dinner though, I'm sorry, it was healthy. And here's some pictures of Chris's day 39 food. He was really proud that he remembered to take all these pictures. That pasta looks pretty good. I think we may have to consult Kim on whether that's technically acceptable in her meal plan though. That Friday we had a workout session scheduled at SRG Boxing in Indianapolis with Susanna. Chris and I were both a little worried about this one going in. It didn't help that the day before Laura ominously said, You've got boxing with Susanna? Yeah. It's gonna be hard. <laughs> All right. Everything started out fairly normal. She taught us how to wrap our hands and then she gave us some basics. But then things started to speed up. <laughs> Is your sound that you're looking for. Okay. <laughs> Not that fast though, yeah, right? Yeah, hopefully. We worked on our uppercuts and hooks and learned a four punch combo. We got the fundamentals of the yeah, punches. Yeah, we got them locked in. Yeah, the fundamentals yeah. of it, the basics. And then she showed us with her whiteboard the list of everything we were going to do. Number one on the list went like this. 30 seconds of punches, 30 seconds of jumping jacks, uppercuts while jogging, mountain climbers, four point hooks, push ups, dominoes, burpees, more punches, then air jacks. So you'll have to tell me if you need a time out, because typically I don't really throw them in. We just rock and roll the whole time you're here. After all that, we had to punch this bag on the floor as hard as we could 50 times and do five jump squats in between each set. Oh, wow. Catch a breath. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. That's one of the hardest things I've ever done in my whole life. Eventually, we reached number two on Susanna's whiteboard. This stuff was really no joke. You see this very long list? She told us that we had to do everything on that list in 15 minutes or less. Uh, 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 inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. 
This workout was relentless. Susanna would tell us to recover a little bit by doing mountain climbers or burpees. For the record, that is not how I recover. I recover by slowly crawling into the fetal position and just breathing for several minutes. But believe it or not, that still wasn't the end. We continued to work on our punches and obliques for a few more minutes, and of course she made us do more burpees, and then we finished up with a burnout at the bag. Four, there you go, three, two, six. Done, Dada. I don't know if you can tell by my face here or by my dry heaving earlier, but this workout was very hard. Susanna is the toughest person we've worked out with so far, maybe the toughest person I've ever met. What she had us do was physically the hardest hour of my life. I literally did not think I would be able to finish, and I'm so proud of myself that I was able to. That was the hardest workout that I think I've ever had in my life. Like, I didn't think I could do any more, and you just have to kind of keep doing it. It felt really good to persevere through this. That was the best feeling to come out of 100 days so far for me. I know that if I'd done that workout on day one or day 10 or even day 25, there's no way I would have finished it. So this was a major accomplishment. Day 41 was a self-directed exercise day. I ran for about five miles and I ate this avocado on toast, but didn't do a good job other than that of tracking my food. Chris went golfing in a stunning turn of events and also didn't track his food. So I think we're seeing a bit of a pattern beginning to emerge. All in all, week six was a pretty intense one with both the roller derby and the boxing workouts. One takeaway I had from this week is that I can get hurt and be okay. Like there's a difference between being a little bit banged up and being injured, and in my life previously, I've never been able to really parse that difference. Like before 100 days, if I'd had that tailbone bruise after roller skating, I would have stopped all exercise until I felt 100% better. But now I feel like I understand my body a little bit more and I'm able to adapt my exercise to cope with my body. As a result of our meeting with Kim, I've had a much better eating week this week, but it wasn't perfect. I had a couple slices of pizza on Thursday. That said, I do think that I'm eating better. I ate a lot of healthy food this week, including some vegetables like cauliflower. I've come all the way around on cauliflower, actually. It's a top-notch food. As for meditation, I meditated four out of seven days this week. Three times it was great. The fourth time it was a little bit catastrophic. I'll get into that in a future Reflections video. But for now, it's the weekend, which means some self-directed exercise and maybe even a rest day. I'll see you on day 42. Oh, that's not, that's not nothing. No, that's come the first on, flex. Time You're not even flexing. I am flexing. Now you are. That's no, like curl it. I don't know how to do it. How do I do it? Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. That's visible.